And it's nothing wrong with being a little sweet and sour because if you're too sweet, people will play with you. Don't dishonor yourself by forcing yourself to be in environments and around people in places that you know that you no longer align with. Hey YouTube, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So I told y'all I was coming with another video right after the last one and this video is about self-acceptance. Make sure that y'all leave a like down on this video because when you like this video, it helps it get out to more people since y'all be shy to comment. So when it comes to accepting yourself, I just I just want you to know that it's time it's time to stop being mean what do we get out of beating ourselves up what do we get out of being mean to ourselves all the time we are not going to be perfect yes we will always have insecurities yes there will always be something about ourselves that we do not like but even though you don't like it doesn't mean you can't just accept it some things are just what it is and if it's something that you cannot physically change accept it and if you do want to change it wait till you get into a position to where you can change it but for now you have to accept it understand that you are a human being you have feelings you have flaws you have things that you don't like about yourself but it is what it is everybody does you do i do your friend do your mom does everybody does and if anybody is out here trying to pretend like they don't they're faking it they're trying to overcompensate for those things that they don't like about themselves if they even like themselves a little bit you know things that you can change that's the only thing that you can work on focusing and hyper focusing on things that you hate about yourself is not going to do you any justice but make you feel like you are not worthy you're not good enough and that you're not beautiful and if you follow me i know you're beautiful so next thing when it comes to being a human i touched on accepting that you have feelings me i'm the type of person i was raised to be perfect i was raised to be a perfectionist and i'm not that i have feelings and you grow up around people who be like oh your feelings are bad or your feelings do not matter whatever the case may be you grow up thinking that anything you feel is a problem anything you feel is bad but it's not except that you have feelings you don't have to pretend that you're okay all the time it's our first time living of course we're not gonna be okay i literally made a video talking about how i feel like i was having a midlife crisis at 19. no we're not okay i can't even say that i'm okay right now there's always highs and lows in life and if you hyper focus on that low you will never get back to a high or even a happy healthy medium i accepted that right now i'm going through a lot i have a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes but at the end of the day i'm not gonna let it affect me sometimes it does affect me so sometimes i will be a bitch sometimes i'm gonna be the b word sometimes i'm gonna be real nice and sweet sometimes i'm gonna be irritated sometimes i'm gonna be angry sometimes i'm gonna feel lazy sometimes i'm not gonna feel good enough Sometimes I feel like I'm that girl. Whatever the case may be, emotions are normal. Everybody has them. They won't always be the same. But the thing is, you just have to accept it and you have to feel it. Don't try to numb the pain by smoking and drinking. Don't try to get rid of the things that you're going through. Don't try to avoid it. Just feel it. Let it pass and continue doing what you need to do. And it's nothing wrong with being a little sweet and sour because if you're too sweet, people will play with you and they'll take your kindness for weakness. And that's what we don't want. You can accept that you're a nice, sweet, kind person. You also have to accept that part of yourself that doesn't go for no games and you have to embrace that be like you know what i'm sweet but when you fuck with me then that's it you know so <laughs> it's okay accept that part of yourself because it's gotten you this far and then sometimes those emotions are beneficial you don't want to hold on to those things and you become bitter unkind and you become disingenuous they just are not who you are you're not yourself and you're never going to be that better version of yourself if you harbor all of those feelings so just feel them get them out the way keep moving forward that's all that you can do next thing is to accept that we all go through things accept the fact that you have problems nobody can judge you for the things that you've gone through nobody can judge you for your past because everybody has something but i heard this video on tiktok say that if everybody was to drop their problems today would you pick up somebody else's you probably wouldn't you probably would keep all your problems to yourself and be like oh you know what i actually like my problems my problems ain't that bad because other people are going through much worse and i'm not saying this to invalidate your feelings i just want you to know that because this will help you accept the things that you're dealing with there's people who go through hell and back every day and why would i want their problems i wish them the best and i wish them healing but i have enough and the stuff that everybody has 
that breaking point. Everybody has things that they're carrying. Everybody has things that they're dealing with. Except for the fact that even though you might look picture perfect on Instagram, we still have problems when people get to know us. We still have things about ourselves that we don't like that we have to work on. And that's okay. Everybody does. And nobody can judge you for your past. Anything that you used to do, anybody that you used to be, nobody can judge you for that because everybody has a past. And sometimes other people's pasts are worse than yours. So own it because everything that you went through and everything that you still continue to go through makes you who you are and will make you that best version of yourself. Accept it because if it's not anything that you can change today, there's no need to worry about it continuously making yourself feel depressed and anxious speaking from an anxious girly myself accept that this is your first time living you're a human being i'm 19 i'm not 20 yet but when i turn 20 i'ma literally be a baby adult literally it's my first time living life i don't know what i'm doing it's okay to reparent yourself and relearn things learning how to cook again learning how to cook better learning hygiene things learning how to clean whatever the case may be like it's okay to relearn those things i literally follow this one tiktok account it's called level one adult because sometimes we don't get that proper teaching from our parents and our support systems whenever we're growing up and sometimes we just need that extra guidance to help us get through stuff because we're not perfect and we don't know everything i feel like that's one of the steps to accepting yourself is accepting that you don't know everything accepting that there's rooms for you to grow there's free help and there's free information everywhere take advantage of it help yourself because nobody else is gonna come save you nobody else is gonna come help you and nobody really is gonna feel bad for you people can offer empathy and offer sympathy they can sympathize with you but other than that what are people really gonna do a lot of people are very self-serving they're very selfish these days it's very rare that you find somebody who is so kind and willing to give you a shirt off of their back even when that's the only shirt that they have so help yourself and treat yourself like the baby you are even if it's something that you were taught you can relearn it. You can relearn a different way. You can learn how to do better. Just don't stop wanting to grow. When you're somebody who's willing to learn, there's literally no wrong that you can do. Because even if you do make the wrong decision, you learn from it. You know, never stop learning. Accept the silly things that your inner child likes. Our inner child is us as a little girl. Whatever your inner child was doing to have fun, to escape, to relax, embrace that. For me, it's coloring, dancing to music, watching cartoons sometimes, playing video games that I used to play when I was younger, playing around in makeup, you know, doing little things like that that I used to do when I was younger. It helps me connect to that part of myself that is scared, that part of myself that felt neglected, you know, whatever the case may be for you. Connect to those things because I sometimes feel like things that our inner child used to do to have fun and to relax are the only ways that we can have fun and relax today because with the stresses of the world and how it is out here today the only time we can find fun is in doing silly little things don't judge yourself for it don't be like why am i like this why do i like this it's just who we are it's just what you like i like weird stuff i like coloring i like watching cartoons like that might be weird to some people but there's always somebody out there who likes the same things as you but you can't judge it and you can't hide it because if you hide it you're neglecting yourself and you're not honoring who you actually are and you'll never get those people around you who are just like you your inner child will never feel safe not even with you if you are judging her for everything that she does everything that she likes take interest in what she's telling you to do and it'll help you accept so much of about yourself me as a child if you look at any of my pictures like I've always been extra I've always been like a princess I feel like I'm a princess so I'm going to act accordingly in my everyday life when I was younger I used to like picking flowers everywhere I went you go to a restaurant you know how they have like those flower beds outside I'm picking their flowers I'm taking pictures of their flowers I'm recording myself doing makeup I'm dancing like this is just what I did as a child and when I revisit those things and I do those things today it helps me feel Feel just like how that little girl felt whenever I was doing those things so accept it don't run from it don't hide from it it'll make you feel so much more better about yourself and I'm gonna also make another video on this as well but those things I'm talking about with my inner child help me feel more feminine because I'm connecting with who I am in my core it makes me feel more feminine and 
I love it. Be 100% authentic no matter what. And you will attract the people that needs to be around you. And you will attract the blessings and things into your life that align with your frequency that you're on. Accepting yourself is knowing that sometimes you change. Sometimes you outgrow people. Sometimes everybody's not meant to go with you. And that's okay. Don't dishonor yourself by forcing yourself to be in environments and around people in places that you know that you no longer align with. You're only causing yourself and your inner child inner turmoil. Your inner child knows that you're not supposed to be around these people anymore. So why aren't you? You listen to her you have to treat her like she's your daughter because she's not going anywhere your inner team your team is a whole different story <laughs> but that comes with accepting yourself like i said in the beginning when it comes to your feelings teens are very emotional teens go through a lot of things so you have to embrace those feelings that your team has as well sometimes your team is angry all the time sometimes your team wants to fight people sometimes your team is depressed take care of it accept it feel the emotions talk to them encourage them let them know that everything will be okay and show them that they can trust you and that they're safe you're not crazy for thinking this way it's literally psychology but that is it for this video i hope you found some value from it and if you did please leave a like down below and leave a comment down in the comment section whenever you leave a like on this video it helps it get out to way more people and y'all learn how to accept yourself you are all that you have there's nobody like you there's not another you coming so you have to be the best you that you can be every single day no matter what no matter who comes against you no matter who tries to tear you down no matter what be you 100 percent, and you'll be blessed that's all i gotta say and i'll see y'all in my next one